So anyway, moving on, what we have here is what I'm calling the uh, fractal constructor, because I'm going to be using it in the video. I'm going to be adapting a hanger with the same design. So the hanger is um, obviously going to be part of a ship, which we all know, and I'm going to be building one of these one of these fighters. I'm going to show you how I'm going to film that in just a sec. But basically, what we're looking at here is just your standard hanger. Okay. But up here, what we have is a massive array of salvage computers and salvage cannons. So each row, going from left to right now, is uh, basically a waffle. So every other one is connected to the bottom. And then the other one is connected to the top. And they're both facing down. And then the activation block above will trigger both of them at the same time. So you get all the beams coming out across all of it without having to take up the room of two layers. Um, and then there's a, the, the delay block which triggers the activation. The delay just runs in a straight line all the way down and gets to the end. I did have it running back into itself, but obviously that was on a different blueprint. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna redo that. We've got a bit of a rollback, I think. I wonder if I might just spawn it again. Uh, it doesn't have the additional wiring anyway. So I can just rebuild it. Right. So anyway, may as well show you this thing working. <clears throat> There's two ways to make it work. So uh, the first way, the switch on the left, will take you through. So we've got an activation block. Moves to another activation block. The only reason I did that was because I didn't want the wiring going through this for the purposes of looking at that. Um, and then these go off to each of the activations that set off the delay chain. We've got one going up, one going down. So you can pretty much guess what's going to happen. This is like a 3D printer effect. So, as you can see, it's going to scan from left to right, top to bottom across the thing. And because it's rectangular, the um, top to bottom will take less time. So obviously having that do that, that's that's great. But as you can see it's just going to do it once. Now I could push it a couple of times for example. One, two, three, wait. One, two, three, wait. One, two, three. Right, and then let's have a look and see what it's doing, shall we? It's scanning. We missed most of it. So obviously, if I want to film this, I've got an alternate camera which I can set up. Okay, so for example, let's just switch over to camera B. Camera B. There we go. And <clears throat> as you can see, here is the original fractal air, fractal engine. Uh, and what we're going to do is I'm going to put my camera somewhere called like... Right there guys, if you just excuse me, I'm just going to go and activate that system up there. So uh, give me two seconds. So I'm going to activate it manually and you'll get to see the whole thing. Wait, do it again, and do it again, and you get that sort of 3D printer style effect. And you can make it go left to right, right to left, left to right, right to left if you want. You can put it on a loop and all kinds of stuff. But um, I'm going to have to switch you back over to show you the next bit. So if you've been following up to now, then pretty much guess what I'm going to do with this. Now I want to test if this actually salvages, but that's not what I actually built this for. I built this for a cinematic to construct a ship, which is obviously the reverse of building it. <laughs> but uh, that's actually pretty easy to shoot. It is a bit mental. Okay. So really what I need to do is set up a better clock, one that doesn't give such a crazy uh, delay. 
but this right here is a, it's a toggleable clock. So I'm going to show you how it's wired up. You have an activation module connected to a delay block, and you connect it to an activation module. Put an all block on top, and you hook up the end of the clock because obviously you've gone dead. If this is off, no matter how many ones this thing produces, it'll always be zero. But if I push this on, then we'll get a one every time. Every time this clocks. I've also attached a plex door to the underside just so that we can see it going. So I'm going to start this clock up. <clears throat> As you can see, it's not working. <laughs> okay, well, I'll just turn it on here anyway. I wanted to go around there and turn it on first, you know, but being, being silly with me. And now go. There we go. So now the clock's working. Unfortunately, this is actually putting in a pulse every half second, which is insane. Because that means this thing's having a party right now. Like, a serious party. Like, we're doing beams. We've got beams for your beams. I mean, if I was to show you what was looking on the other screen right now. So, uh, yeah, I think I will do that. So, yeah, that's what it looks like from this, from where I'm at. Um, let's have a look at camera two. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see right now, um, this is a bit too much. And that's because I'm putting in too many packets of ones. So it's actually triggering every tick. So that's why everything's firing at once. So, obviously I want to slow that down. Now luckily, because I made this on the clock, um, it's not too difficult. I can just go over here and it is lagging right now because I'm firing a lot of beams right if I now go R ah, eventually all those packets will go through the system and be done so hang on and as you can see that one up there is still moving so we're okay so obviously how am I going to do this anyway so we've connected our two uh, ends So we've connected the end, so all I need to do now is hit this switch, it will travel to here, it will travel to both of them, go into there, get on this delay block, which triggers the activation, which triggers both salvage computers, which triggers this row, and it will move down every half second, and then when it gets to the end it's going to go up and back, and feed into itself. And just for anyone that missed it, that's one way of doing it, or you can do it this way. And because of course it's vertical, there is no wiring there anyway. All right? It's just a case of whether you want to show it or not, which is why I just quickly went through all of that. So then, let's get out of this and uh, get up there. So I am going to move all the way around to the control panel. still going. I probably put too many packets in though so it's a little bit dirty and they are crossing because of the way that they do go across each other. See it's trying to fight, it's fighting it. <laughs> anyway, so let's get on with this. So on, off and everything seems to be running okay. Let's watch the packet as it moves through. So there's the system. It's going down to the right, up, down and back. Yep, so that's running good. Let's just go and double check this one. It's going down, 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 down. Down, 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 down. Up and down again. So that's working fine. So excuse me while I just go floating, floating down. I'm going to get a ship to prepare. We need to know. So this will be the first test to see what happens when we put something in there. Because so obviously it needs to overheat. Yep. Yeah. It's time. I hope I'm flying this right. Oh god. Uh oh! <laughs> nope. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, switching back to camera one. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> Is it just too big to get in, or did I just? Oh, I'm in the wrong camera. Ah. I was in the uh, left headlight there. I thought I was in the right headlight. <laughs> That's that different uh, left and right hand drive, you know? <laughs> Can really mess you up. Coming in. Oh no! It's way bigger than I thought it was, isn't it? <laughs> this isn't gonna fit. Hang on. Am I just being stupid? Huh? Huh? In. Oh! It's probably just too big. Ah! <laughs> it is too big. It's just too big. <laughs> um, okay, fine. Try sideways. <laughs> Try sideways. I miss tab G with the double shift. It's making my manoeuvres quite difficult. Okay, in we go. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Watch out for the camera. <laughs> oh, actually, that works. Oh, wait. Damn it. Come back to me, camera. Okay, so it's too big for what I'm trying to do, but it's fine. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm going to need something smaller, dude. Okay. It's fine. It works for the purposes of whatnot. Now I just need something to shoot it and see if the ship actually salvages this thing. Let's move it back a bit. There we go. It looks like it fits, even though it doesn't. That's fine. Okay. So now I just need something with guns. Something with guns. 